I'd be interested in hearing um, viewers thoughts on these house rules that I've been using I'm sure many people will dislike them um, let me know in the comments uh, if you like them or certain parts of them let me know in the comments I'm just gonna go through a few just kind of scenarios here regarding robot and power armor combat so I have so working off uh, original riffs I have changed the following I believe the original uh, the proper rule is if I understand it correctly uh, a robot with multiple weapon systems such as the enforcer here can fire one of those weapons each attack um, but they get hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat number of attacks plus two for their robot elite piloting so that would be six mostly um, my my house rule is uh, we drop the hand-to-hand -hand combat um, attack number and we just use the piloting number so he would be down to two two attacks which I thought cool great should be a little bit slower than my dudes running around okay that's how I that's how I want it that's a sweet spot for me however I allow them to shoot all weapon systems every attack if they choose to do so so he's slow to move so for instance we've got our crazy here he can uh, he can do a lot of things he's got six attacks per melee but he's gonna spend a lot of them dodging from this thing actually but uh, that puts the, the power dynamic there in a sweet spot for my games um, thoughts on that people um, I've been having a lot of fun with it so in a scenario here where we've got a crazy he would get off you know a couple shots you've got two attacks he's got six so He'll get a shot first, he'll get um, initiative probably. Uh, lay into this guy, maybe take out the sensor turret, whatever, it's not gonna help him much. When it comes his turn, and he, if he really wants this guy dead, he's gonna land based him. He's gonna go with the railgun, the mini missile launcher, and the laser turrets. He's got two laser turrets uh, for anti-personnel. So this is the next thing I have house ruled. A robot gets minus four to hit soft targets like humans harder to harder, harder to target no metal to no metal signature to find with the sensors whatever minus four to hit the soft target except for anti-personnel designated weapons those laser turrets on the shoulders are designated anti-personnel and so are the mini missiles so those would not take the minus four so they can they get a straight up shot here's a red is the bad guy oh shoot okay so that's a hit um, with the 5d6 um, 46 5d6 you know so this is what the crazy's taken oh wow that's a crappy roll anyway so that's gonna blast away some of his armor but next up comes the the mini missile now the mini missiles uh, work pretty great against against uh, soft targets for sure say he eliminates all the armor off the crazy what happens next my crazy rules, uh, I have changed it so that mega damage uh, on soft targets pass through so, so easily and quickly that they actually only inflict SDC damage. So for instance, those lasers coming uh, off the, uh, the top shoulder turrets, those would have only done that much SDC damage. Now for a normal human, they're dead anyways. They've got 10 hit points and that's about it. Um, for a crazy, he can take a few blasts as he gets Swiss cheesed uh, by cut up by lasers. But he is a superhuman after all, so that's expected. This guy down here, uh, my uh, this is my burster, I believe I was playing him as. He's got um, 20, 20 SDC. He'd uh, he could take two two blasts like that, and then he'd be getting into hit points and almost done for. Um. So that's that. The I also changed up the rate of fire. I've thrown out the window the written as rules, rate of fire stuff, the burst, um, all that stuff. I still uh, allow the plus three to aimed shots for a single shot, but if you want to shoot... Um, okay, so say we've got our crazy with a, an assault rifle. He's got the laser rifle. Uh, he's got a 30 round mag. He says 
he decides he wants to shoot 10 rounds, 10 laser shots at this guy. He gets a plus one for every five rounds put into the air. So it will be plus two, so he'll be the blue die. No, there's no dodge. No dodge. I don't allow dodge from power armor or robots. When getting shot at by, by humans, the humans just are too twitchy. Just can't dodge their shots. So here comes a shot. 17. So he gets a plus two because he fired 10 shots. So that's a 19. Um, since he doesn't get a dodge, we uh, assume his dodge is five. Uh, so if you had a roll of five, you would have missed. So we take the difference of the dodge and the strike roll. So five from 19. So that'd be uh, 14. And for every two, we made that attack by another shot hits. So we made that by uh, divided by uh, four by nine. Uh, by 14 uh, so it'd be seven seven shots hit so we go 46 times it by seven yikes so there's there's eight there's 11 there's 15 15 damage times seven it's like 105 damage as uh, the crazy just blasts away at the torso of this thing um, so that's how, uh, how I roll with that. In, on the flip side, if he decides to use his railgun, railguns work the same way. However, because of the heavy recoil from the things, they get a bonus to hit for every 20 rounds, and they're shooting like crazy fast. So the burst out of a enforcer railgun is 80, I believe. So that would give him a plus four to hit. He has a minus four because he's a robot trying to shoot a soft target, so they'll cancel out. But if he hits, you know, say he rolls a, well, let's get something a little bit better. Say he rolls a 13 and the crazy only gets a, uh, let's work with uh, nice twos, gaps of two. And the crazy only gets a nine for his defense. That means that uh, he the attack beat the defense by four there. So that would be um, an extra two rounds hit. So that would be, um, so one, so that'd be a total of three <laughs> railgun rounds smack this guy as he's diving for cover or something. That railgun, uh, I do not use the single round damage. I ignore the single round damage altogether and go with the, the burst damage. So that's 1d6 times 10. So since three rounds, it's not exactly rounds, we're thinking in grouping, so it'd probably be like three, six, eight uh, projectiles actually hit the crazy. So that's 1d6 times 10 for each of them. We'll roll 3, 3d6 times it by 10. E -e 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 yeah, oh, 12. 120 damage um, just goes passing through this guy. Say he's got, um, you know, say he's got um, 80 mega damage on his dead boy armor and we just did uh, 120 to him so that's 40 goes into his SDC and it is only 40 SDC damage um, that would kill any normal humans right out out right that is uh, since he's a crazy he'll he'll take a couple of those before he's he's dead but um, so yeah that's those are the the biggest changes I've made. Um, hogwash, many will say heresy. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself. <laughs> um, maybe give it a try. Maybe see uh, what y'all think of it. Um, but the thinking um, I've been having, like, um, f for why somebody like the crazy or a juicer, certainly, you know, they were made, they're superhumans. They were made to be kind of the poor countries, well, this is how I see it anyways, they were experimented on by poor countries or poor military services to combat <laughs> the the robots and the weapons of war, the war machines, it's kind of a cheap, where life is cheap, you can <laughs> kind of stand a chance against something like this. So like a crazy or a juicer versus a Samus power armor. In my, my strange little world, they should be pretty similar in, in uh, capabilities. 
Um, and I think this is capturing that to my liking. Anyways, let me know what you think. If you feel like it, be kind still, please. And, uh, <laughs> and roll on.